Hi there and welcome to the Live Well Zone, the place where we talk about how to balance female hormones naturally and create a healthy lifestyle. I am your host Jermaine and I am an integrative nutrition health coach and a yoga teacher. And in today's video, I want to share something really simple yet incredibly powerful for supporting your hormones and your overall health. And that something is called stinging nettle leaf, also referred to as nettle leaf. Now nettle is basically a weed that is native to Europe, but at this point you can find it growing in various parts of the world. And even though I refer to it as just a weed, it has a lot of nutrients and a lot of benefits for different systems in the body. So in this video, I'm gonna share the seven main benefits of nettle, and then we're gonna talk about how to add it to your diet. So the first benefit of nettle is that it has the ability to regulate blood sugar. Now, blood sugar plays a role in a lot of different hormonal imbalance symptoms, whether we're talking about PCOS symptoms, sleep disruption, or even weight gain. A lot of those are tied to your blood sugar levels. Now, what's interesting about nettle is that it has compounds that can mimic insulin. So if your cells are having a hard time taking in that glucose, when you take nettle, especially like in the form of a tea, your cells will be able to take in that glucose and make use of it properly. So that's a huge benefit if you have a variety of symptoms that are potentially related to insulin resistance. Now the second benefit of nettle is that it is a very good source of iron. Now there's two main benefits when it comes to this. On the one hand, if you have heavy periods, that means you're losing a lot of blood every month. So drinking nettle tea or adding it into your soups or salads, that can be a good way to compensate for all of that iron loss. Another benefit is for your thyroid. So as it turns out, your thyroid relies on having iron, and this is why. So the pituitary gland is responsible for making a hormone known as TSH, that's thyroid stimulating hormone. When your thyroid sees that TSH, that's the trigger basically to create or produce more thyroid hormones. Now, in order for your pituitary to be able to release that TSH, it needs iron. So basically, if you don't have enough iron in your diet, then what can happen is that the pituitary will not function properly, will not release, the, release that TSH, and you could find yourself with underactive or overactive thyroid. Now, research shows that a good number of people that have hypothyroidism, which is underactive thyroid, have iron deficiency as well. A smaller number of those with hyperthyroidism have iron deficiency. So something to think about here. And in addition, science also confirms that when you give thyroid hormone replacement therapy along with iron, the patients who have hypothyroidism actually recover better and have better results versus just giving them plain thyroid hormone replacement without the, the iron to support. So this is again a major benefit. So as I mentioned, having that iron will be great if you are potentially anemic or just losing a lot of blood and your the iron is dropping and will also support the health of your thyroid. Now benefit number three of nettle is that it is great for supporting your liver. Now there's two different benefits here. On the one hand, Nettle contains a lot of antioxidants, and those antioxidants are helpful for protecting the liver from the damaging effects of inflammation. Now, inflammation basically comes from our lifestyle, all of the stressful things that surround us, the chemicals, as well as the emotional stress. So those antioxidants help to protect the liver so it can work properly. Another benefit is that Nettle has compounds that are known to increase the levels of glutathione. Now, glutathione is basically the, one of the most important detoxifiers in the body. It's basically a molecule that has the ability to bind to toxins and basically transport them out of the body. And nettle has compounds that will increase the levels of glutathione. And glutathione happens to be made in the liver. So, Nettle, again, can help your liver not only just protecting it from damage, but also increasing the levels of that super important detoxifying molecule that we all need. So the fourth benefit of nettle is that it is a very potent anti-inflammatory herb. 
So as I already mentioned, nettle has the ability to help your liver detox. So the less toxins you have in your body, well, the less inflammation you're going to experience. Also, once you reduce that inflammation, that means that your adrenals don't have to work quite as hard to release cortisol. So by adding nettle into your diet, you basically help to reduce overall stress and overall inflammation in your entire body. Now, another major benefit of nettle leaf is that it can help with hair loss as well as inflammatory skin conditions. Now, one of the main reasons why nettle helps so much with hair and skin is that it is a good source of vitamin C. And vitamin C is necessary to increase the production of collagen in the body. Collagen is a major, major building block of both, of both hair and skin. So taking in more vitamin C is going to help your body make more of that collagen. Also, as we get older, the body tends to make less collagen. So the more vitamin C you can get into your system, the better for your collagen levels. Nettle also has a lot of trace minerals, and in particular, it has a good amount of silica. Silica is great for the hair because it not only makes your hair stronger and more resilient, but it also adds natural shine to the hair. Now, while we are on the topic of hair, nettle is very well known for being a natural remedy for hair loss, whether that hair loss is due to alopecia or even male pattern baldness. In both men and women, that hair loss is generally related to a hormone called DHT. And studies show that nettle has the ability to block the conversion of testosterone to DHT. So nettle is basically a natural DHT blocker. And once you block that hormone that usually ca causes a lot of hair loss, then your hair is able to flourish given all the other beneficial nutrients and trace minerals that are also found in nettle. Now, last but not least, Nettle can help with inflammatory skin conditions. So as I mentioned earlier, nettle is a natural anti-inflammatory. And in addition, it has all of that vitamin C, which your skin needs when it comes to things like collagen. So all of that is going to work together to keep inflammation low when it comes to your skin. So that means inflammatory skin conditions like acne or eczema or even rosacea can improve with regular use of nettle. Benefit number six of nettle is that it is a natural way to increase your energy without having to rely on any kind of stimulants or any kind of caffeine. So there's two ways in which nettle is, a, nettle is able to do this. First way is that it contains iron, as I mentioned before. Now that iron is necessary to make hemoglobin, which is a protein that transports oxygen in the body. So once you have enough hemoglobin in your body, you're able to get more oxygen to your tissues and to your muscles and different parts of your body, and you feel more energized. The other way in which nettle helps with energy is that it is a great source of amino acids. So it has all of the essential amino acids that we need. And your body happens to rely on amino acids to produce energy for all the different things that it needs. So again, here, if you have enough amino acids, in your diet, that means your body is able to do the work that it needs with, without you feeling physically drained or tired. Another benefit of nettle is that it is incredibly nutrient dense. So I already talked about a few different things like iron and silica, but there's a whole lot more going on in nettle when it comes to nutrients. So I'm going to run through that list that I have written down uh, right in front of me. So it has a lot of vitamins A, C, and K. It also is a good source of fatty acids. Now we need fatty acids because our sex hormones as well as our adrenal hormones need fat as their raw material. So this can be another way for you to get a little more of those fatty acids into your diet. We also talked about minerals. So we, there is iron, but there is also manganese and there is calcium and there's also potassium in nettle. Next, we have protein. So good source of proteins, good source of those amino acids that we need. It is an excellent source of B vitamins and those B vitamins also work in collaboration with those trace minerals when it comes to also keeping your hair and your skin healthy. And again, in the production of collagen. So that's another benefit of taking an herb like this is that it comes with a whole lot of everything blended in. And also, this is a very good source of, of chlorophyll. 
Now, technically speaking, anything that is green contains chlorophyll because chlorophyll is what makes those plants green. However, based on some research that I did, apparently uh, nettle is one of the most concentrated, concentrated sources of chlorophyll when we're talking about above ground food. So anything that would be in the sea would have more, but above ground, this herb is super concentrated concentrated in chlorophyll and chlorophyll is a major detoxifier it also oxygenates the body which is probably another reason why nettle is so good at increasing our energy levels and then of course there are antioxidants antioxidants that will support the immune system that will support your eyes and a whole lot more okay so now we know about all the great stuff that's in nettle let's switch over to talking about how to add it to your diet and the best option here is to actually make a nettle infusion. Now an infusion is basically a tea, but a very strong tea. Now the difference between an infusion and a tea is not only the amount of herb that you're going to use, but it's also how long you are going to let that steep. So when you make a regular tea, you would use basically four teaspoons of nettle herb for four cups of boiling water. However, what we're going to do is we're going to be making an infusion. So for an infusion, you're still going to use four cups of boiling water, but now you're going to switch the herb content and you're going to use an entire ounce. So one ounce of herb and it has to be dried herb to four cups of boiling water. And once you steep that, you will let it sit for at least four hours or preferably overnight. I prefer personally to do overnight. And the result is going to be a very concentrated and very, very dark tea. Now, the reason why you wanna let it sit that long is because the longer it sits, the more you're going to get all of those nutrients. So you're gonna get more chlorophyll out of it. You're gonna get more of the vitamins. You're gonna get more of those proteins. Everything that is in those leaves, the longer it sits, the more it's, it seeps out of the leaves. Now, just to give you uh, a visual of the difference between the tea and infusion, I actually have both here with me. So this is what standard nettle, tea, standard nettle tea would look like. So that's a pretty clear golden color. And this is what the infusion looks like. So it's pretty much 100% black. It's a dark green, but it's really just black. So as you can see, there's a huge difference between those two and that difference in color accounts for a lot of difference in nutrient uh, content. So go with the infusion to get the most benefits. So again, one ounce of dried herb, not fresh dried herb to four cups of boiling water, put the herbs in a jar. So I have here a mason jar, standard mason jar that you can get at any grocery store. Uh, this is a canning jar, right? So you've got um, the, the lids that are separated just get that, put your herb into that, put four cups of boiling water, seal the jar. You want to seal it because there are some volatile uh, oils in, that, in those leaves. So when you seal the jar, that helps to contain them so they don't evaporate and so you don't lose important nutrients that you would be benefiting from. Now, when it comes to the taste, this does have a very grass-like flavor because it's a weed. So, what I like to do is I will put approximately three tablespoons of raw honey to sweeten that. I'll put the honey once it's done. So after I've strained the leaves out in the morning, once it's sat overnight, I will add that honey to it. And by the way, when you're straining those leaves, when you run them through a sieve, get a spoon and push down on those leaves because there's usually some extra tea that's caught in those leaves and you will be surprised about at, um, how much extra tea you're able to get if you would just press down on those leaves once you've run them through your seed. Now, as far as where to get your herbs from, you can get them either from a local health store or if you want to make things easier on yourself, you can just hop online on a place like Amazon and find a good seller. You just want to make sure that you are getting organic leaves for this because again, we're trying to use this to clean out the body, to reinforce and strengthen the body. So we don't want to be getting something that has been sprayed with pesticides. So get organic. This is a very, very affordable herb. You can get a pound of this stuff, depending on the seller, you could probably be paying 18 or $20, but it's really not that much money and it's a worthwhile investment 
for your health. So make sure it's organic. I will place a link below the video to some recommended brands that you can use, but feel free to buy from another brand if you already have a supplier that you are happy with when it comes to herbs. Now, before we wrap things up, there are a few safety precautions to be aware of when it comes to using nettle, whether it's in the form of a tea or an infusion. For one, if you are pregnant, definitely stay away from this because it can cause uterine contractions, which means that there is a risk of miscarriage associated with consuming this when you are pregnant. Also, if you are taking any prescription drugs, then make sure to check with your doctor before adding this to your protocol. So if you are taking drugs, maybe for things like diabetes, or if you're taking blood thinners uh, or blood pressure medication, just make sure to check with your healthcare provider and ensure that there will not be any uh, contraindications to adding this into your day-to-day -day routine. And again, of course, make sure that you're only using dried herb for this. So um, stinging nettle is called a stinging nettle because when you handle fresh nettle, fresh nettle leaves, uh, the plant has basically like some uh, hair-like structures on the leaf. And when those touch the skin, they release compounds that will create a rash and a whole bunch of different types of irritation on the skin. So you do not want to be using those for the infusion. Now it is safe to use this leaf once it's dried and that's why you only want to use dried herb. And it's also safe to use it in cooked form. People add it to soups and other recipes. So once it's cooked, those hair-like structures, uh, they get deactivated and there is no risk, there is no worry associated. With them. So now before I forget, you do want to make sure that you consume your infusion within 24 hours. You can keep it in the fridge, but it will spoil very quickly because it is all natural. There are no preservatives in there and those nutrients will spoil fast. So that quantity I gave you for that recipe, the four cups of water and the one ounce of dried herb, that's for one day and you could drink every single day or every other day but just make sure that you consume all of that within 24 hours so it doesn't go bad now if you'd like to learn more about nettle and its benefits as well as some of the research that i mentioned in this video there is a blog post that goes along with this topic so i will link to that and you'll be able to find more information in that post and if you enjoyed this then please give it a thumbs up and of course share it with anybody else that you think would benefit from this and i really hope that you get to try this recipe out for yourself and once you've had some time a few weeks to use this regularly i'd love to hear your experiences with it in the meantime if you have any questions or any feedback about this feel free to leave them in the comment section i will check and will reply back to you so thank you so much again for watching and i will see you on the next video Bye bye